is uh, uh, an important uh, moment in my life. Um, during the 70s, somehow it became fashion that a group of musicians playing the same instrument, like trombone, like saxophone, would play together, perform together. I think recording together too, but uh, I don't have any records of this. Um, and uh, I proposed to George uh, to do the same thing with trumpets. Uh, in fact, it was uh, just like the band without <laughs> saxophone <laughs> and trombones, but the rhythm section, you take away one third of the band, uh, two thirds of the band, one third you keep, and that was okay. But of course, the idea um, is not that easy. Uh, in fact, having only trumpets, uh, it needs anyway somebody very creative to arrange all this and uh, I wrote full composition for this uh, trumpet machine album that uh, we recorded for uh, MPS and um, I don't know who did the cover but anyway uh, it's funny with all these colors and the trumpeters are uh, all famous people I mean at least at that time they were from uh, Kenny Wheeler who left us a couple of years ago, Woody Shaw also. John Fedis uh, playing uh, high up in the sky notes. And um, Pale Mikkelborg, who is an old friend and a uh, fan of Miles Davis and a good friend of mine too. And uh, uh, we have we've known each other, I think, for 60 years at least. And, um, and Mike Sverin, who is uh, basically a uh, jazz critic for uh, Herald Tribune, now now New York Times. I don't know whether he's still alive or not. Um, but Mike, uh, who was a bass trumpet player, which is a much bigger trumpet with a mouthpiece that is uh, like a trombone mouthpiece, we need at the bottom five trumpets that, that, that scream above. Uh, you need somebody on there that has also <clears throat> that kind of sound, uh, but lower, like a trombone. In fact, it sounds a little bit like a, uh, like a veil trombone. The, the important thing of this is that it never was done before and never was done after either. <laughs> I don't know whether this is good or bad <laughs> since Lavodi followed. Uh, in fact, there they exist uh, uh, groups of uh, musicians, like in France, there is a group of trumpeters that they play exactly those arrangements that they got from George. So it is something that, uh, that, that still happens, but uh, somehow uh, um, it's not like a big band that is more complete, of course. So it, it's more an experiment that I think was uh, very successful. And um, the music is very interesting and very innovative, in fact, uh, for, for those years. And we are in the 70s. So. And, um, okay, that's uh, one of the projects that... Uh, I helped to uh, to do. I wrote part. Of, most most of the compositions are either mine or from George, and one is from my father. Uh, it's you know it was a great experience. Mm -hmm.